what's up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is julia and welcome to my youtube channel so honestly i wanted to start this channel when i was a collegiate gymnast but there was a ton of different ncaa compliance rules and stuff that could potentially jeopardize my eligibility and gymnastics was my life my world i freaking love the sport and i didn't want anything jeopardizing that so i decided to wait until i was done gymnastics and here we are now but yeah without further ado i'm gonna try and keep this as short as i possibly can but I could literally talk about this for days. I'm gonna try and keep it short and I'm gonna tell you guys all about my division one collegiate gymnastics experience with WVU. Grab your popcorn, grab your tea, grab your coffee, whatever cereal. Grab your cereal, that's what I would be eating right now. I'm about to tell a long story. <laughs> Also, I do want to mention that I am not at all trying to like brag about my experience and I am one, making this video because I want to document my own experiences and two, I'm making it to show people that there are good gymnastics programs out there. There are programs that treat you right and make you have the time of your life. There is probably a school out there for anyone and everyone. You just have to find your fit. Do not settle for something you don't enjoy. Find something you truly love. Find a school that feels like home and that everyone feels like they're your family and go there like and first of all love the sport like biggest piece of advice make sure you love the sport and don't settle for a school you don't like go somewhere you truly know that you will enjoy yourself hopefully that makes sense Okay, now let's get into the story. So a quick little background story on me. I started gymnastics when I was five years old, which is actually quite old. Usually people start around 18 months, whatever, besides the point. Um, yada, 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 I get through club gymnastics. I get to level 10 when I was a freshman in high school. And that's when I really got serious about wanting to do college gymnastics. No idea where I wanted to go, D1, D2, D3, didn't really matter. I just knew I loved the sport and I wanted to continue doing it in school. Also, I had no idea what I wanted to study or be when I grew up so I was like I don't know what I want to study I just know I want to go to school for gymnastics. I started going to some summer gymnastics camps because most schools have them. I started contacting different coaches mainly on the east coast and just like programs I had heard of before and I instantly like fell in love with WVU and weirdly enough like my brother he's older than me he started looking at going to WVU for school and I was like hmm and wouldn't that be funny? Anyway, I think it was like my junior year once you were allowed to start like contacting college coaches like more seriously, I went on an unofficial visit at WVU because that was the summer camp that I enjoyed the most. Loved the coaching staff, like instant connection. I don't know, girls, everything. It was like a dream come true at summer camp, even though I like broke my ankle. Oh well, it doesn't matter. So I went on like an unofficial visit there. It was Travis, Jason, and Kaylin. They were the coaches at that time. And I remember asking if all the scholarships for my year were taken because my club coach told me to and I was like so scared. And I was like, okay, fine, I'll, I'll get the courage and I'll ask them that. And I remember asking if all the scholarships were taken and he was like, we actually just gave away the last one for your year the previous week to my teammate, Chloe. Go Chloe, go girl. Anyway. <laughs> And it like didn't phase me at all because he didn't say that there wasn't like room for me. Like in my mind, I was like, okay, cool. Like there's still potential for me to be on this team to be a walk-on. Awesome. Had a great rest of the visit, watched practice. And I was like, this is the funnest thing in the world. Like I want this to be me. I want to be a WVU gymnast. So went home, kept practicing at club. And then I like broke my wrist. It was like November-ish and my wrist was hurting like crazy. Went to the doctor, doctor was like, okay, we'll give you an x-ray. X-ray was completely clear. I was like, okay, but like there's something wrong with my wrist. I think I had like six x-rays total, either six or eight, I forget the number, way too many x-rays. Two MRIs, I was told I had a pinched nerve in my neck, I was doing different like yoga, rehab, weirdest stuff ever. There was days where it would feel fine, so I would do like everything I possibly could on those days, send, send videos to Jason and Trav being like, here's my skills today, like wrist is feeling okay, and then there'd be days where I'd have to like sit there and condition the entire practice because I could not put any weight on my wrist. Later on, I got an MRI with dye injected and they found a fracture in my scaphoid, which is a tiny, tiny bone in your anatomical snuff box. And they immediately casted me. And that doctor actually told me that I would never do gymnastics again, never get full range of motion in my wrist. Still don't, but if I'm like pressing on it, I do. Screw you, doctor. I don't even know her name, but she was the worst. She made me cry. I didn't mean that. I'm sorry. I didn't like her. But yeah, she told me I would never do gymnastics 
gymnastics again. She told me I needed to get surgery if I even wanted like the slightest chance of having a normal wrist ever again. So she casted me that day. We flew out to the Bahamas the next day for a meet that I didn't get to compete in. But coincidentally, Debbie View was there for the college session of the meet. So I guess like that was fun getting to see everyone, but I was in a cast, so that was great. Um, anyway, had surgery that following January, like a few weeks later, whenever there was an opening, with like the top wrist specialist in the country. He was amazing, I freaking love him. Like literally he belongs in Grey's Anatomy. He fixed my wrist, told me I'd be back to gymnastic as long as I like rehabbed it properly, found the best physical therapy place in probably the entire country. They're in Maryland, it's called Rehab to Perform. If you ever need physical therapy, go there. They will get you back to being an athlete, because my first physical therapy place had me doing dusting and folding clothes as my rehab. And I was like, mom, I'm never going back there. So I didn't. And then we found rehab to perform. I got out of my cast like end of April. So like the end of club season and then got back to gymnastics, got all my skills back that summer into that fall of my senior year of high school where I was on an official visit at WVU. But like, I didn't know if I was going to be on the team or not. Like I stayed in contact with them the entire time throughout my entire injury. They were super supportive always contacted me back, um, got invited on the official visit. It was me and only two other girls actually, but I had a blast. And I remember we were at the football game, we were on Mountaineer Field and Jason looked at me. He either said like, do you like it here? Does this feel like home? And I was like, yeah, like I love it. And he was like, do you want to make it official? And I was just like, what? He's like, do you want to officially be on this team? And I don't even remember what I said. I just, I think I started like tearing up, crying and just like nodding my head and hugging him. And it was one of the best days of my life. Anyway, fast forward, it was all better. Senior year in high school, super great, super chill season. Like I had no pressure. I was super consistent on everything. Just like having fun, enjoying gymnastics. Yeah, okay, that was all my backstory. Now let's get into my actual college experience. So I wrote myself a little list. So I stay on track so we're gonna break it up by year so my freshman year new state new school new gymnastics team new everything except one girl from my club team Carly she was on my college team so that was amazing that kind of like helped me adjust easier I think I don't really know I feel like I'm good at adjusting to things anyway we're like two weeks into practice I'm throwing all my skills it's great I'm like wow these girls are really talented everything's going well it was like right before official practice started and we actually had two recruits on campus they're actually on the team now and the coaches like called us all to the middle of the floor to get our new sneakers and we were all running across the beam mats and I fell off the beam mat onto the floor rolled my ankle really hard but I was like a little fresh and Julia, I was like, oh my God, don't make a scene. Don't make a scene. Don't cry. So I'm like crawling on the floor and I'm next to Carly, coincidentally, thank goodness. And I'm like, Carly, I really need Amelia. I rolled my ankle. Amelia's our athletic trainer. Love her. She's the best. And Carly's like, ha ha ha. And like, we're listening to the coaches and then everyone gets up and starts like dispersing for warm up. And I'm like on the ground crawling and I'm like, huh. Yeah, I really need Amelia. And like my ankle was already like blown up like a balloon at this point. And Carly was like, oh, so we went over to Amelia. I had to ice and like sit out for a few weeks. Anyway, turns out all my ligaments are torn, but it's okay. I rehabbed it, everything strong. They said my ligaments are fine as long as I kept my ankle strong, which I'm pretty sure it's still strong. Anyway, we had a strength and conditioning coach that a lot of people thought was rough and tough, but I personally loved her. Like I was in the best shape of my life. I felt so athletic. I conditioning was hard, but I feel like that was where I shined because I've never been like amazing at gymnastics. Like I feel like I was just kind of like decent all around. I like really used conditioning as my time to shine and like step up. And of course I tried my hardest in the gym too. Everything was going well once my ankle was better. Fast forward to freshman season, little me walk on freshman Julia. I was like, okay, this is gonna be a blast. Whatever happens, happens. Like I'm just gonna try my best have fun and we'll see if I compete. First meet and I'm in like the lineup to warm up vault and floor. And in college gymnastics, eight people warm up, seven people touch, six people compete and five scores count. Warmed them up, honestly don't remember how it went at all. I honest, I don't think it went like extravagantly well or anything. I remember my hip hurting really bad for some reason, like randomly, I was like, wow, my luck. So I like put a heat patch on my hip and everything. By the time we like warmed up every event and then got back for touching and competing, my hip felt a lot better. And I thought I was in on vault. I was like, no, there's no way I'm going on floor. Ended up going on floor. They were like, hey, Jules, you're in. And I was like, I'm what? They're like you're in. Meanwhile, I was like the last person to get my floor routine. So like my choreography, I'm not a good dancer anyway. My choreography was like all over the place. And they're like, you're in. And I was like, 
Okay, let's go, let's do this. Um, did great, got 975, stayed in bound, made every pass. Probably my worst part was my leap because I'm terrible at leaps, but um, I remember it being a blast. I remember it being like the most fun thing ever. We, and then vault went really well too. I went third on vault, second on floor. Um, went third on vault, made my vault, also got a 975 on that. And I was like, college gymnastics is so fun. This is the best thing ever. From there on out, I competed vault and floor basically the entire season. We hosted regionals that year. Throughout the entire year, my coaches were like the most supportive people ever. Everything was just a dream come true. Like I was so happy. It was the best. We hosted regionals, like I was saying, and we were so close to making it to nationals. Like it was crazy. The environment in the Coliseum that day was insane. Like I wish I could experience that every single day because it was one of the top five best days of my life. It was incredible. Anyway, this is gonna be the longest thing ever. <sighs> summer after freshman year, I went home because I didn't get to move into my apartment until later on in that summer. So I was at home. I remember going to the beach with my boyfriend coming back and my mom's laptop was open on the kitchen counter when we got back from the airport, which is like normal, didn't think anything of it. And it starts ringing and she has a FaceTime call from Jason and Travis. And I was like, well, this is really weird. It's like, mom, you're getting a FaceTime from Travis. And she was like, oh, that's weird, answer it. So I did. And they were calling to tell me that they were giving me a one year full of scholarship for gymnastics. And I was just like speechless. I did not know what to say. I was so shocked. I had no idea like, it was such a surprise to me. That was also one of the top five best days of my life. It just showed me how much they believed in me and how proud of me they were and showed me that I was doing all the right things and that hard work does pay off. So that was kind of the start of my sophomore year. Then I finally got to move back onto campus into my apartment. Sophomore year started, everything was going super well, conditioning, practice, everything. We did have a coaching change though. That was a little bit weird. We had a new assistant coach, but nothing like too crazy. I ended up having a lot of shin pain that year. So once season rolled around, I guess it was just kind of from overuse. I had like hot spots and stress fractures in my shins, but I still wanted to compete and do everything. Like it was killing me that I couldn't do any of the like impact conditioning that everyone else was doing. I was on the bike and Versa Climber instead. So I would actually only practice vault once a week and compete it that weekend at the meet. And that was about it. <laughs> My uh, shin started feeling better. Luckily after that year, I did tons of rehab, tons of rest. Luckily they felt better for the next two years. So that was sophomore year. Sophomore year was quite a blur with the whole coaching change, my shin problems. It just went by really fast too. Yeah, sophomore year really wasn't that eventful since I just did vault. I learned a new bar dismount while being shin hurt, which you'll hear about once I get to junior year. It was still a blast. Still had so much fun and loved every second of it. It just wasn't as eventful because I was hurt. I feel like I'm forgetting so much stuff and I feel like I'm gonna be editing this and there's gonna be so many more things that I wanna say. The big picture is that my coaches are amazing. Our athletic trainer was amazing. My team was amazing. I loved absolutely every single second at WVU would not take back a single thing that I did. Okay, into junior year. Junior year was a fun one. So my gymnastics was looking better than ever, like better than ever. Skills testing came around, tested past every single event. On to cloud nine, we had our little fall classic thing. <laughs> I had a weird bar routine. Yeah, I had a really weird bar routine beginning of junior year, completely different bar release. I forgot about that. It was actually quite tragic. Anyway, once season rolled around, I changed my bar routine to my old release, a Wilson. It's it's unique. I'll put videos in throughout this. Um, once season rolled around, we actually got a new strength and conditioning coach like in the preseason of my junior year. She's amazing. She's still there now love her. Anyway, we get to season of my junior year. I was consistently competing vault and bars. Made my bars debut because your girl learned a double layout while her shins were hurt. Um, and we actually had a double weekend. We had one meet in Pittsburgh and then one meet at home against Oklahoma. It was the midway point of the season. We had already warmed up vault, stuck my vault warm up. We warmed up bars, stuck my dismount in bar warm up. And we were on our last warm up event, which is floor. And I was always warming up floor, but I hadn't gotten in yet to compete. I remember we were warming up and I did a front handspring and I was planning on doing a double twist and I did a double twist but as soon as I like hit the ground to punch from my front double twist I knew something was wrong. I was like oh my god oh my god I, I need to stop twisting and do like a one and a half instead because something bad is about to happen and I landed. I landed on my feet with my feet this way 
and my body this way. I fell down to my butt and then I popped right back up to a stand and then I realized that something hurt really bad so then I sat back down and my one teammate, Erica, love her. She's my class. She was like, Amelia, 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 something's wrong. And Mills like thought she was joking because if you know Erica, she's always joking. So Mills thought like nothing of it. And then she saw me down and she was like, oh, like she's she's serious, she's on the ground. So Mills pulled me up, we walked back into the tunnel. I was like sitting down for a while. She was like messing with my knee and like asking about what happened. And I'm back in the tunnel, it was our last event. Like we had to go change into our long sleeve Leo soon. I'm back in the tunnel, I'm like jumping up and down on my knee, walking around and I'm like, okay, it hurts, but like I'm fine. Like it hurts when there's not weight on it. When there's weight on it, it's fine. I was like, can we tape it? Like, is there a way I can still compete? Compete, like at least compete bar. And she was like, no, Jules, relax. You're not competing today. You, like something is wrong with your knee. And I was like distraught. <laughs> and I talked to the coaches and they were like, no, 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 we're gonna play it safe. You are not competing today. We don't want you like blowing out your knee. We need to figure out what's wrong with it first. I was mad, but I'm so glad that they said that. And they're just, they've always just been so protective and very cautious and caring about everyone and their injuries and how they're feeling and very observant. So I'm very thankful for that because I probably I would have been way more broken if I went to a different school. So I met with like a doctor at the meet. My mom was there too. And he thought that my meniscus was torn because he did some tests on me, but like my ACL, PCL, LCL, MCL, all that stuff was perfectly fine from all the tests that he did. But he did think my meniscus was torn just like the way my pain was. So I went and got an x-ray the next day. I was walking around on campus and once again, it was fine whenever there was weight on it, but whenever my leg was off the ground or like bent a certain way, it would hurt really, really bad. Um, my results from my MRI came back and I remember I was at practice. I think I was just on the ground like doing some ab exercises. The like team doctor called my athletic trainer and I saw her get the phone call and then she pulled Travis, Jason, and Kaylin over. Kaylin came back my junior year bless up. Um, she pulled the coaches over and I remember like seeing them look at me and I was just like trying to hold back tears because I had a feeling like I was about to hear some bad news and then she called me over so I like hobbled over to the training room and Jason and Travis and Kaylin all stayed in the room and she she was like well there's good news and bad news. Good news is you didn't tear your meniscus. I was like okay cool and she was like bad news is you need to be on crutches for six weeks and I was like huh? Like six weeks that takes us through the end of my entire junior season like kiss my season goodbye six weeks turns out i had a lateral tibial plateau fracture super small fracture but it was like fine right across the bone so that needed six weeks of non-weight bearing i was in a brace that didn't allow me to bend it past 90 and i was on crutches and wouldn't you know every day after that it snowed or rained crutches slipped out from under me every time i got into a new building i lost a ton of muscle like yeah i'll insert a picture of my leg muscle completely gone here Pretty cool, pretty cool. Got it all back plus more meals and our strength and conditioning coach Sweeney did an amazing job helping me regain that muscle. A plus job for us three working together on that. So yeah, that summer after junior year was basically just full of me rehabbing. I was at school majority of the time rehabbing and just getting my skills back so that my senior year would be the best yet, AKA comeback season, baby. Okay, enough about junior year. The grand finale comeback season, my senior year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me get a drink before this one. So, here's the tea. Still had Jason, Travis, Kaylin, best little coaching trio ever, and Amelia and Sweeney, best staff. So if you take one piece away from this video, it's that WVU is the prime gymnastics staff and program ever. I'm not biased or anything, but like, just trust me, it's the best. Anyway, senior year, everything's going great. I had every single one of my skills back, except for the front double twist. We were just like, let's stop with that. Let's go back to my old routine from freshman year. It was actually two days before testing day. I had already like technically passed on all my skills because I had been doing them. Was really looking good on all four events. Was like ready to go. Doing almost full bar routines, like vaults onto the hard side. Like I was cruising, not gonna like brag or anything, but I was cruising. Two days before testing day, which is like when we have to officially like show our skills and video them and like pass the event. Your girl was doing a bar routine just for fun. You know, we didn't have actual assignments cause it wasn't official practice yet. I was just doing a bar routine, trying to prosper and go above and beyond. And I did a really bad cast handstand. Okay, so in my bar routine I do a cast handstand, Clara handstand, Wilson, 
is my bar release and then I would do kip cast handstand shoot over jump to high bar double layout and I remember my handstand being off but I was like what the heck I'll do the clear up I can do a Wilson out of anything the cast out of the Wilson was weird I was like this is just janky but let me just do it for endurance did my shoot over to the low bar and like my hand slipped off the bar but like that was normal that happened all the time and i would always like sprain my thumb no this wasn't a normal time i remember it like stinging but i didn't look at my thumb i was like oh julia why why do we even do that like that was just hideous i remember looking at travis and travis was like uh -huh. and i was like that was trash and he's like yeah and i was walking over to the chalk box just talking to him so i started to like pick up my hands to chalk up my grip and i looked down and this thumb is like you can't even see it that's like ah. when i think about it i want to throw up this whole part of my thumb was pressed into my skin and this part was like hanging out over here it was the grossest thing I have ever seen. I wish to this day that I had a picture of it, but we had to pop it back in place. But I remember looking down at it and I remember looking over at my teammate Taylor and she goes, uh, and I looked down and I was like, uh, and I showed it to Travis and he was like, go to Amelia. So I sprinted across the gym, ran to Amelia, had my arm out like this and I didn't want to look at it because like I was going to throw up. And I was like, Nails, Nails, Nails. And she was like, what? Your elbow's fine. Cause I guess like I was holding my arm way over here for some reason. And she's like, your elbow's fine. And I was like, no. <laughs> and she like pulled me into the training room. I was like hugging her. My head was on the other side of her shoulder cause I could not look at it. She was like, just breathe. And she popped it back in miraculously. I got like an x-ray to make sure she popped it back in place perfectly. And she did. Every bone was in line. She did an amazing job. Props to Amelia, best athletic trainer ever. <sighs> I thought that like when you dislocated something if it went back in like you just had to wait for the swelling to go down and then it was fine i don't know why i thought that clearly i was wrong so my hand just kept swelling i'll put some pictures all around so you can see how swollen my hand was she like wrapped it up and i got a really tight bandage thing and they were like you have to get an mri to see if anything is torn and meanwhile the day before this drew Brees dislocated his thumb and tore his ucl so i get my mri results back and i dislocated my thumb clearly and i 90 percent tore my ucl so since it wasn't 100 percent torn i didn't need surgery but i did need 12 weeks in a cast six weeks in a hard cast and six weeks in a little thumb splint spica so that brought us up to december and season starts the first weekend in january how convenient for me senior year yeah good times great times kept conditioning did like double conditioning because i was so bored with my life once i was allowed to do stuff while in the cast and spica like on tumble track and stuff i would do different like tumbling passes that involved no hands kind of determined that i wasn't really allowed to do bars ever again but mainly i just wanted to get back on vault like i said my whole freshman year I could beat a vault and floor sophomore year was just vault junior year it was vault and bars so clearly vault was like my one consistent event that I competed really loved it literally as soon as I got the clearance to meals taped up my thumb she had this whole method with like lobster tail I did like a few vault drills on the floor for a few days and then moved it to the vault started flipping started twisting it all happened very fast actually muscle memory is a crazy thing um first meet I was not ready yet so I didn't compete first meet second meet I I warmed up layout. Third meet was our home meet and I was feeling good. You know, you feel good at home meet. So I got to compete, ball was our first event. So I actually went fifth, that means I think they wanted to like make sure everyone else hit before I went in case something bad happened since it was my first meet back in almost an entire year since I was out second half of my junior year. There's literally a video of me doing my vault and it's in slow-mo and I'm smiling before I even hit the ground. Being back in vault was absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure I got like a 9 -8. I don't even know if it deserved a 9-8. It was just amazing. Best day, best day. Anyway, kept going through season. I competed vault every single meet. Later on in the season, we were at Iowa. I think it was like our second to last regular season meet before we got into like um, big 12 championships and regionals and stuff. We were at University of Iowa. Everything went well. <sighs> Flying home. And I remember everyone telling us like, make sure you guys have lots of hand sanitizer, like get masks. And we were like, what are these people talking about? Why is everyone making such a big deal about COVID? Um, yeah, the next weekend, was our senior night it was supposed to be on friday the 13th that right there should have told us we were supposed to be with upenn maryland in kentucky upenn had called us like the wednesday before saying that ivy league schools were done because of covid and we we're like okay like it's fine at least maryland and kentucky are coming and it was thursday day before the meet we had off we were all just chilling at home because we have a rest day before the meet and 
we were all at our separate apartment and we get a text in our team group message from one of our teammates saying like, hey, my friend at Kentucky just said they turned the bus around. They're not coming, the meet is canceled. And I'm in my room, my one roommate, Esperanza was like, did you see that text? And I was like, it, it can't be true, it can't be true. Like at least Maryland is coming because one of my club teammates went to Maryland and she was like, yeah, we're coming. It'll be us in Maryland. Like we're having a senior night. They can't cancel our senior night. And then we hear from Maryland that Maryland did not get on their bus to come to our senior night. And then we get a call from the coaches telling everyone to come into the gym for a meeting because the NCAA canceled the rest of spring sports for everyone. So that was how my senior year ended. It sucked. We all sat in the gym hearing the bad news. Everyone cried. Travis had this paper and he read off like one positive or funny story that he remembers from that season about everyone. I don't even remember mine. It was a bad day. It was not fun for anyone. And I just remember walking around my apartment complex with a few of the underclassmen. It was just terrible. It was like the saddest day of my life. Yeah, we never had a senior night. Um, I didn't have a graduation, which I don't really care about because I really just went to school for gymnastics. So I just wanted my senior night. In the grand scheme of all things college gymnastics, that ending obviously wasn't what I wanted, but that's not what I think about when I think about my college gymnastics experience. I think about all the amazing times I had the rest of the time in college. Like literally such a dream come true. Absolute best experience ever. If you love a sport and you're thinking about doing it in college, I highly recommend you do it in college because it is the most incredible and the most life-changing experience ever because you learn so much about life and yourself and how to work hard. It's just great. I highly recommend. But I also highly recommend that you actually love the sport because if you love it, it never feels like work. It is just a blast. That's just my advice. Coming from someone who has seen people who love it and then also seen people who are in it for all the wrong reasons, you have to love the sport. I love it. I loved it so much. Still love it. I'm waiting till the day that I am told that I can go back into the gym and get my grips because I'm gonna sneak in some, some bars work. Might dislocate my thumb again, but we'll see. I just think it'd be fun. I'll probably get hurt. Okay, I feel like I talked forever, but I also feel like I forgot so much. My coaches, once again, the most supportive people ever. I literally will stay in contact with them for life. Like, I love them. If you go to the WVU Gymnastics Instagram page, you'll see a tribute to our seniors it's like a 14 minute video every time I watch it I cry it's what they posted for like, our graduation since we didn't have a real graduation I love them they're the best I can't wait to the day where I can actually like go back to campus and hang out with them because I've been looking forward to that forever but I don't know when that's gonna happen once again I solely made this video one as a form of documentation for myself even though I know I left so many great memories out and I also made it to give people hope that there are good programs out there there are good coaches coaching staffs and good athletic training staffs. It's not just all the horror stories you hear about. If you truly love the sport, I promise you can find a good program that you love and that gives you the experience of a lifetime because I honestly didn't even know if I'd ever be good enough to be a college gymnast and look at all that I achieved, but you gotta love it and you gotta work hard. I'm gonna end this here. Who knows, there might be another W Gymnastics video eventually. If you ever wanna hear about my freshman dorm story, just ask about it in one of the Q and A's coming up because that is a story for a whole nother time. It's a good one though. So if someone remembers to ask me about that, you guys are in for a treat. I know I probably forgot so much stuff, but huge shout out to my coaches, huge shout out to my teammate, the best group of girls ever, all four years, like absolutely amazing. I love them. I hope other people have experiences similar to mine. I'm sadly gonna end this video off here. I hope you guys didn't get too bored and let me know if you ever wanna hear more about gymnastics or different recruiting tips or anything like that because I am here to help. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, bye.